Hey guys, from the story sets assassin, welcome to another cigar review. Today we're filming possibly the dumbest cigar I ever smoked this year, or the greatest cigar I ever smoked this year, and it's only beginning of this year. Okay, so today we are smoking this Rocky Patel Conviction. You can see, bling, 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 bling. all right, and in this tube. So, um. According to Rocky Patel Company, this is supposed to be some serious aged tobacco from four of their uh, five different filler tobacco from. I mean, no, four of the five tobacco in here are from their own farms. Okay. And then uh, those tobacco are from 2014. So it's been aged for a long time. And they will age another four years in a uh, uh, um, wrap inside like pond leaves or something like that. And then I was like one of their best blah, 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 blah. And <clears throat> I don't care what you do really. So like at this point, Rocky Patel, I know you guys have a lot of history and everything, but $100 for this cigar, $100. I've seen cigar older than this. That's not hundred dollars. Okay, six and a half by fifty-two box press Toro Extra. All right, wrapper is Mexican signatures. Binder and fillers are from Candega and Esteli, which is Nicaraguan. Uh, from the sound of it, it doesn't. It doesn't sound like hundred dollar and. Your biggest mistake, Rocky Patel. This is not metal. Your biggest mistake. Because it, had this be metal, I am sorry. Had this be metal, we will probably be dumb enough to spend a thousand dollars on this thing. Had this be a metal thing, Eric and I would be so all over this thing. But no, he decided to make plastic, so thank you. Because we made a plastic, we just get one of each. We don't have to get it to you again. Oh my god. This is the dumbest shit. Right? You decided to make a hundred dollar cigar using plastic containers. Biggest mistake ever. Biggest mistake. Because we literally just bought some uh I think metal container, whole box of that. Or cheaper. <laughs> biggest mistake. Big, right? Big, big, big. Okay, like there's nothing to to no, right? This this you do us right? Just the word conviction, Rocky Patel logo. All right. You gotta be a convict to make something like this for $100. Okay. I, I don't know. But here you go. Inside, it's like this flat rectangle box press. Top and bottom. Um. Muted yellow gold color with silver print. All right, conviction. I, I, hundred bucks. I, I can't believe this is this is hundred bucks. Like Rocky Patel. Like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Anyways. Take off the footband. Can't believe I want to smoke this thing. Like usually, I can buy a hundred dollar cigar. That's fine. I can, I can smoke it all the time. That's fine. This is a, one of the first cigars, or one of the few cigars I feel like hundred dollar is definitely a waste. 
Unless this, I was telling Eric, if this thing's good, I had to quit. I had to quit reviewing because, you know, this this cannot be. Hundred dollar. If this thing is hundred dollar, I'm doomed. All right, here we go. The ban. Conviction. You can always see that. Uh, something's up with the wrapper. I don't know what it is. So yeah. Hundred dollar, hundred dollar already give me a hole. Hundred dollar. There's there's some sort of liquid that got on here, and as soon as you remove the band, you can't you can't do it without removing the band. So yeah, remove the band, that thing falls apart. Hundred dollar. Yeah, you start you start with way less than that now. Smell just like dry leaf. Not much to it. Let's go. Draw is okay. Leathery. Leathery, a little bit of like a sourness, kind of uh, maybe a little bit earthiness too. All right, let's get started. <sighs> okay. I, I don't know why I'm... Hay, mineral, saltiness, earthiness. Pep on the notes. There's a little bit of bite to it. Sounds sort of a tropical leaf ish taste on the nose. It's only this side smell. This side don't. I don't know why. I can't tell the different. That tastes like either a banana leaf. Or, or if there's any sour open lemongrass. It's so close. Cedar. Almost a tobacco bitterness too. There is a creaminess to it. I don't want to say vanilla because it's not sweet enough. Pepper comes up after in the end. Okay, so I'll smoke one third and I'll come back. But I, I highly doubt it's $100 worth of but I'll be back. All right, so I finally got over that red part and I think it's about one third. The ash kind of held okay. You can see like every part of the leaf was kind of damaged, kind of curved out a little bit here and there. So that there is something, I guess. I'm going to tap the ash off because I don't, I don't want that to fall while I'm reviewing it. The cigar has a dark tone to it. It's got this fermentation, like fermenting, fermented smell, uh, taste to it. And it's got pepper. And it's got a developing note. Like it's not really clear. There is a little bit of mineral. 
and like I want to say chocolate, but very very light because every time I smell that chocolate, pepper burns and you can't taste anything. Uh, it does dry me out a little bit. It has a little bit, of just a tad of saltiness. In the beginning, it has more, and then and, and it kind of went down a little bit. And that's all I got. And uh, it has a, like I said, darker wood tone to it, so you can taste some cedar, but fermented, right? Has a lot of smoke output. <clears throat> but I'm gonna be very honest with you, okay? It almost looks like the ash is toothy. And it's very possible that it is because it has a lot of smoke output. Okay, I give you that. But this is not $100 I got right now. Based on the taste alone, based on the enjoyment alone, I say this is between the fifteen to eighteen dollars a car at best. At this moment, fifteen to eighteen. Uh, it's fermented. It's aged. It's got relative good strength, about medium, and it draws okay. Smokes okay. Ash holds great, and that's pretty much it. I don't see any particular enjoyment or difference in this cigar. That will make it worth a hundred dollars. Other than the fact that I don't make a lot of these, so I am not convinced. So now we're going into a second third. We we'll smoke a second third. See if it got better or more the um, pronounced taste. Because at this point right now, it's a good cigar, but it's nothing pronounced enough to make you go, "Oh my god, it's a hundred dollars." This thing tastes like a hundred dollars. No, nothing, none of that right now. So. Um, I'm gonna get into the second third and I'll be right back. All right, second third. Um, now it's creamier, it's nuttier, it has like toasted nut and cedar and creaminess. So it kind of have a little bit of a good Connecticut per se kind of persona. In fact, there was one puff I took. It was so nutty while I was chatting with uh, Eric. And I was shocked. I was, And I forgot what I was talking about. Like I stopped there. I was like, oh shit. What was that? And I stopped. What I, I, I forgot what I was talking about. Because that one puff was so good that at that moment, I thought this, this if this the rest of the cigar tastes like that, I'm doomed. That's a $100 cigar right there. But it did not. Luckily, it did not. I was like, oh, I was scared. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was that one puff. It was that one puff. But nevertheless, right now it's still very nutty, uh, very cocoa, um, you know, walnut kind of taste. Uh, it was, that puff was really good. Like, I, I told Eric on the spot, if that was the entire cigar, well, this is a hundred dollars cigar. But it wasn't. But I also, because of that, I realized I forgot to mention this is a double review. So you are gonna see Eric release a video at the same time for the same cigar about what he thinks about the cigar. We smoke at a different time. We're not smoking at the same time, all right? We, when we do double uh, reviews, we don't smoke the same cigar at the same time. We smoke at a different time so that um, we don't tent each other with what we thought about the cigar. But the burn started to be wonky. I had to fix it a little bit. And, um, yeah, still right now it's still that range, right? I say, you know, here's the thing. Usually if you give me a metal box, it's automatic ten dollars, right? So this thing, if it's plastic, it's dollar and a half. So even at that range, 16 to 18, with this nutty increase, I'll give it 20. And uh this plus this is 2150. So we're at a 2150 range, right? While I fix this thing. And we'll see if the last third give that permanent taste but i don't think he does all right if he does that's a hundred dollars here but if he doesn't nope not there so we'll continue laster and we'll be right back uh i do want to what's something i was going to mention about this cigar and i forgot what it is but uh when i come back out I'll, I'll probably mention it something about the leaf i was reading about it and i forgot about it so yeah i'll be right back be right back be right back
All right, so I'm down. Last little bit. Uh, that nuttiness continues to go, but it's it, it, it turned almost like a peanut kind of taste. Um, but there's not much change. It mellowed down actually a little bit. With that being said, that is an enjoyable cigar. It has that fermenting taste to it. And I did, uh, what I forgot was that this cigar was made in a special Cuban, um, Cuban fermented way. Let me see that. What's the name of that? It's called blah, 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 blah. Crafted with terciario Cuban method to ferment the cigar, but I don't see that's much different. Here's the thing, right? We see a lot of cigar that has better presentation, aged tobacco, and all that stuff is less than $100. This is definitely not in the $100 range, okay? This presentation, this put together is definitely not a $100 range. It's enjoyable, yeah. Uh, once that nutting has come through, it, it, it has this uh, progenesque, uh, you know, almost natural slash Connecticut uh, personality. If this was a Connecticut cigar, this would be a top Connecticut cigar for the year, for sure. But this wasn't, right? So it's not it's not there. It's not a hundred dollar cigar. Uh for me at least. It's enjoyable, but it's not even a rebuy for me, okay? Now let's look at the band. Nothing too special, just conviction, lines on it, silver. Um pretty plain. So with this presentation, with this enjoyment, I can't get to the hundred dollars. Not even close, because like you know, uh, even a Prodrome 50th anniversary, which is great, tastes good, didn't even reach that amount of money, right? It's 50 bucks a stick. Uh, and, and we have a lot of other cigars, for example, uh, the Don Pepin 20th anniversary with a really decked out box and everything that's go with it, still not $100 a stick. So to put this in a $100 stick range with a plastic container, that's just, I don't know. I feel like, don't kill me for this. I feel like this is one of those things where you have a lot of tobacco left over. You cannot use it for years and years and years. And finally, you know, I'm going to put it all together and then make sure that my, uh, you know, the wrapper is different. And they, the wrapper didn't even came from them. It came from somewhere else. So the filler's theirs, but the wrapper wasn't. They sourced it, right? San Jose cigars, you want a $100 stick. That's just kind of ridiculous, in my opinion. So uh, I can't get there. However, it did improve, so I give it. $25. $25 is where I think I can be comfortable say this cigar is. It, it, at $25, this is probably a cigar that I might smoke once in a while, you know, or we'll send it to a friend or something like that. $100, it's not. It, I'm not convinced for that to be a $100 cigar. This is just not possible. It's just nothing about this is $100 worth. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't see that at all. Uh, you know, not even a $50 cigar. It's $25 to me. I think $25 will be a, a, a the right price range for Rocky Patel. Even though they can say that this is the best and most expensive cigar they ever made, it still still doesn't have it, right? You know, yeah, it got some sweetness, it got some creaminess, it got some nuttiness, it got some um, you know, um, cocoa. And that cocoa at times gets close to espresso or coffee, but it goes away really quickly because that is predominantly nuttiness. Right? So, is it an enjoyable cigar? Okay, yeah, it is. Is it $100? No, not even close. Not even close. I've smoked a lot of cigar, uh, uh, especially this this being a, uh, uh, not Cubanist, uh, Perjon esque. I'd rather just buy Perjon. It would be much, much cheaper and, and it will probably be enjoy, uh, enjoyable at that point and less than $50 range. So, this thing. Not there. I'm sorry, Rocky. That that's just not the way to sell a cigar. Uh, I know it creates buzz, it creates news, it creates, you know, all kind of different things, but it's not that amazing. It's good cigar, it's just not amazing cigar. Does that make sense? I'm not saying this is a bad cigar. I'm just saying that uh, by putting a hundred dollar price tag on it, it ruined the cigar. If you put a $20, $25 price tag on this thing, even $30, this could possibly be one of the best cigars of that price range. But because it's not, 
It's not. It's not. Okay. So yeah, I'm curious what Eric think about the cigar. He he might like it more than I did, uh, and give a better range. But I I highly doubt that he will reach reach a hundred dollar range because we smoke quite a bit uh, of uh, fifty plus dollar cigars, and none of those reach that price range. And they are decked out. They are decked out. So this is definitely not it. So yeah, Rocky, I would say stay within your price range. Sell your cigars to the right price range, right target audience. This is not the one. And now I can kind of understand why other people didn't do a review on this because uh, uh, they are probably like me. You know, struggle to put myself to buy a cigar from Rocky at $100. Uh, maybe they can do better. I mean, I would think that they should go, you know, 20, 40, 50, work their way up to learn like, you know, what kind of presentations worth $100. But I don't think they, they got there. I don't think that is what it is. I don't think that they have conquered that price range, what is required of that price range. But that's just for me. You know, that's just my personal opinion. I That's what I think. If you think this cigar is worth 100 bucks, let me know. All right, because I, I have a hard time thinking that this is a $100 cigar. So anyway, that will be it for this cigar. Make sure to look at uh, the other side of the review from Smoke One if you have one. I uh, uh, just see what he think. If you smoke this cigar, make sure to comment. Let me know what you think. Is whether or not it's hundred dollar for you? Um, and let me know if you will spend hundred dollar on a um, Rocky Patel cigar, right? Uh, so um, that being said, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, comment, share, and you know support this uh, this this channel for more crazy dumb purchase of these cigars. We try to you know get the cigars that are rare and purchasable for you guys to kind of put now two cents there so that you, you can decide whether or not it's worth your money especially for me it's always price price based right so you know i, I spend the money or let you know why or not i feel like i spend my money well right so this is definitely one of my dumbest purchase for this year uh i cannot i still think that yeah I still, I still, I still have problem process this. Uh, Tony, why did you buy this? <laughs> why did you buy this? All right. So yeah, that will be it. And I will see you guys in the next review. Bye guys.